to put them somewhere here maybe like that maybe like that or somehow somewhere i have to figure it out and hello and welcome to another exterior video where i work on my truck sometimes i'm successful sometimes i'm not so in today's video it's gonna be something different i'm gonna try to do something that is not really technical maybe it's correct or not but I'm gonna do that anyway so let me tell you a little backstory currently the horn I have on, on my truck I don't really like it how it sounds it sounds too low and I don't feel it does the justice to the truck so let me just show you so you can hear how it sounds now I'm sitting in the truck I'm actually got a sound meter as well so we're gonna measure the sound inside and outside to just compare to how it sounds so let's give it a quick try Nah, that was not the greatest. So now I'm about 20 feet from the truck and I'm trying to record this and I'm trying to measure the sound as we hear as well. So let's give it a try. So as you can see, it was not the greatest. So let's try to do something about it. So as you know, probably most of the exteriors, they have a horn located behind the headlight. So that's also kind of an obstruction maybe or not. So I'm, I want to do something about that as well. I want to try to relocate the horn to the front. But not only that, some time ago I was, on a, I was on a junkyard scavenger hunt and I actually picked up these horns. They're much bigger and I tried them out with a battery. They work much louder. I want to replace my truck horn and I want to try to put this on and see how it's going to sound. Hopefully it's all going to work. Um, I, like I said, I tried it with a battery, with a 12 volt battery from a truck and they sound pretty good. So let's pop the hood open and see how we can make it happen. So as you can see, probably, can, hopefully you can see, this is where the, my horns are currently located and they're pretty small and yeah. So I want to try to relocate them from here behind the grill. So I'm probably gonna have to somehow extend the wire which I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet but like I said it's gonna be very unconventional today most of the stuff is gonna happen as it goes I gonna have to figure it out on the fly so I got some wire over here it's a 18 2 gauge wire which should be more than enough I have some connectors over here some plugs some stuff like that so yeah we'll see how i'm gonna make it happen so first i'm actually gonna remove the grill so i can see what's going on over here and how we're gonna get the wires to there all right and just set it on the side great now that the grill is out we have plenty of room to work over here now i can try to figure out where i'm gonna mount the horns over here over here i have plenty of space to put them to put them somewhere here maybe like that maybe like that or somehow somewhere i have to figure it out maybe i have to come up with some kind of solution here so now let's see if we can unplug the our current horns and remove them from over here completely. All right. And with a 12 millimeter socket, there is one bolt over there holding it. So we can just unscrew it. Put this bolt on the side. Now let's see if we can unplug the horns from the, from the connector. There we go. And it's out. So now as a comparison, this is my current horns that I have. And this is the ones I'm planning to put. If you can see, they are much bigger. Actually, I'm now thinking I might reuse this bracket. I might take them off from this bracket and actually put them in here like that and then screw it to this metal bracket over here. I think that would be a better idea. Now, this looks like a 10 millimeter socket. So let's see if we can unscrew them. Okay, we got one out. Yep not too bad all right this is out now let's see if we can undo these bolts in this case this is a uh, 13 millimeter i have over here so so the holes over here are much smaller than the hole for the for the horn itself so i'm gonna have to make it bigger and i just pre-drilled these holes bigger with just a regular drill and now they fit over here perfect now i'm just gonna take a look which way i'm gonna mount them probably this way yes i think that way is better yeah 
I'm just gonna mount them like that and like that and now I can start securing them over here and then I'm gonna worry about the wiring now we can start thinking about how we're gonna secure it over here so what I'm thinking is to drill a hole over here and tighten up with the one screw with a nut and over here I'm probably just gonna put a self topper that should do it that should be fine now I'm good, just gonna mark this for the hole the hole is done let's see if our nut fits yep fits perfect so this is gonna be just like that put a bolt in and let's see if we can screw it from the other side let's get our 10 millimeter socket and make it tight it's already not gonna go anywhere but I'm gonna put the self top for over there anyway it's not gonna go anywhere guys all right now we can start worrying about the wiring how we're gonna wire this all up so our connector is pretty short so what I'm thinking to do is just to stop into it and and see if I can extend the wire I'm not gonna cut this plug off or anything because yeah there is no need for that so I'm just gonna tap into there so our block is our ground and our green is our our feet so in matter of fact I might only need one wire because the ground I can probably even tap in into here to the frame and then this is our ground cable I can probably just stay in into here or we can run all the cables to the back and tap in into there we'll see a few moments later so actually guys what I think I'm gonna reuse this connector I'm actually gonna cut these cables over here and I'm gonna splice my new wire into this and extend it over and tie in all of these wires to it that way I can just simply plug in and unplug to my uh, original wiring over there if anything goes ever bad I can always just take all of this out and just put the original horns in that way the wire the wire harness coming from the truck is gonna be intact but this I doubt I ever gonna use this anyway so I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna splice it so here I go that's it gonna strip the ends just this part over here I'm gonna tape it up real good so no water goes in here actually this I'm gonna fill up with silicone first so no moisture no nothing is gonna go in there and then I'm gonna put tape around it a little more over here there we go now I'm just gonna put tape around it and that should be sealed that should be good I'm, I know it might not look pretty but that's gonna be functional now we can work with all of this mess and put a plug at the end and then we can just send it to the connection over there and just plug it in let's see how we can organize all of this and extend these wires longer so now I'm just gonna even these cables out and start splicing them now we're gonna splice it with this cable I actually tested it before my brown is my is my negative or ground and this is the positive so I picked up a bunch of these connectors so let's see if we can use them over here splice our wires like that I'll twist it all together put this over it and now we're just gonna crimp it over this is not going anywhere this should be a good connection now we're gonna do the same with this wire somewhere over there is gonna get triggered that I'm not doing it right but I feel this is all gonna be good now I'm just gonna put tape around it and it all should be good all right there we go we are getting somewhere guys <laughs> now my next step is to estimate the approximate length of this wire we're gonna cut it shorter and now we're gonna tie in our connector so before I marked the green is our positive and uh, the black is our black <laughs> all right guys and we are almost done just gonna do a few more touches now I'm just gonna measure this wire loom so I can secure the wire inside there and we're almost done
and all right our new wiring harness is done so now i'm just gonna guide it through here and then we can secure these uh, zip ties or tie wraps so other people call them <laughs> everybody calls them different way anyways i intentionally made a little more slack so we can work with a cable in there but now we're just gonna leave it like that so what i'm thinking actually to do now i'm probably gonna rotate this uh horns a little bit rotate them slightly probably like that and the same with this one all right okay now i'm just gonna secure this cable over here to this cable and like that all right we almost we're almost done now let's see if we can make this connection over here so this is our new cable and this is our existing plug so let's hope it's all gonna work i mean it should Okay, now I'm just gonna secure this cable over here with the zip ties. That way they're not gonna be in the way or anything. And I intentionally left more slack on a cable in case I ever wanna relocate the horns somewhere else. I have enough slack of wire. So now let's put the grill back in place and we're pretty much done. And let's hope it works. <laughs> all right guys, all the work is done. Everything is connected, so hopefully it works because that would kind of be sad if after all this work it didn't work so let's test it now we're inside the truck i think it sounds louder all right guys now we're about 20 feet away from the truck so i have my sound meter again out and let's see how it's gonna sound now Oh yes, I feel it's definitely louder. It is definitely louder. And all right guys, all the work is done. The horns are working and they're louder. I'm happy with that. Like I said, I got those horns for free from a junkyard. So I, I had nothing to lose except for losing my horns. <laughs> and the horns not working, but luckily everything came out good and they're all working. This is something that is uh, like a fun project and that turned out to be pretty good. We were able to relocate our horns from behind the headlight to the front. So now our horns behind the grill. So we had definitely gained more sound as well because those horns are much louder. So like I said, this is my project car that I work on. I try to modify it slowly, little by little. I know there is more work coming to it, and there's gonna be more little projects like that as well and hopefully big projects and hopefully you guys enjoying these videos as well i hope it might be helpful maybe you're gonna do some kind of project like that or something so on this note until next time everybody bye yeah.